YouTubers and welcome to yet another Doctor Who action figure review and as you can see today I shall be taking a look at the 11th Doctor with Stetson as you see throughout his appearances from Doctor Who Series 6 of the Revived Era. So first off we are going to take a look at the detail and to be honest there's not that much to say in terms of the detail of this particular 11th Doctor action figure. It's more or less the same that you'd expect with these Matt Smith action figures. He's wearing his uh, tweed jacket, what he wore throughout his first two series and the first half of his last series, Series 7. And I think that it's very nice detail. Again, you've got that sort of texture which was present on the initial 11th Doctor action figures that first were released in 2010 upon his debut as the Doctor and you've got the same trousers, the black trousers and he's wearing his black boots. So I think all around the detail is pretty much the standard that you'd expect with 11th Doctor figures by this point. Now there are a few differences one of them, which is the Stetson, but I'll go into that in a minute. The Stetson's the main highlight of this figure, probably. And um, as we can see, the shirt is slightly different. And um, I think the shirt is all right. It's just basically a white shirt with buttons on top of it. And it's... More or less the same sculpt as what we got before, but minus all the stripes and all that which were present on the Series 5 version of the 11th Doctor. So I think it's more standard, and that, that is how his costume did appear throughout Series 6 in the programme. And I believe that this particular version of the 11th Doctor is based on his appearance in episodes such as The Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon. However, there are a couple of inaccuracies. First off, the bow tie is the burgundy red bow tie. And while I absolutely love this version of the bow tie, I am afraid that this is the incorrect version as the bow tie that he wears in this particular story is actually the more bluish version of the bow tie. So I'm afraid that character options have got it wrong on this one. And it's a real shame because I think they went to all the effort of repainting the shirts. They've slightly re retooled the figure in a way. They've given him a Stetson. You know, they've done all the hard bits. All they needed to do was just use a bl blue bow tie. And it's pretty easy, really, because there is a blue tie... Uh, a blue bow tie version that is existence already so that's a real shame but of course the main highlight of this is the Stetson and as you can see it's just basically a Stetson on his head it's not removable so don't try taking the Stetson off as it will not work and you'll end up damaging the figure and I think the likeness I think the likeness to Matt Smith is pretty decent I think it's all right. I would have liked to see a little bit of a flick of her going down there, but it doesn't matter really. The Stetson just covers all the hair, and got the little band underneath here, which I think is very nice. So yeah, it's all around. It's okay. It's not the greatest figure in the world, but um, it's not the worst figure in the world either. It's just a another version of the Eleventh Doctor, and I think it, this is definitely. A good figure for those of you 11th Doctor lovers and you Matt Smith lovers. Uh, the articulation. The head is very stiff, to be honest with you. And I don't really want to do a 360 turn. Yeah, The articulation on the head is very stiff, so I wouldn't try doing a 360 as it will probably damage the neck area and there will be a lot of paint rub and all that malarkey. There's no ball jointed shoulders because this was before they introduced that into the line. Uh, but the arms can do a 360. There is a 
bit of articulation in the biceps. They are able to do a 360. The elbows can move up and down. And again, at the elbows, you've got that patch there, which has been present on previous tweed jackets. Um, the waist can also do a 360 degree, like so. There's articulation at the legs that can move up and down and side to side, and he is able to do the splits. There is articulation at the thigh area. They can go all the way around. There is articulation at the knees. They can move in and out. And there is no articulation at the ankle area, which is absolutely fine in my opinion. But I think that overall the articulation is fine. The detail is fine. It passes as a figure despite the inaccurate bow tie. He also comes with his trusty Sonic screwdriver accessory, which is more or less being present with most of the 11th Doctor figures that have been released to date. So yeah, this has been recently re-released as part of the new 5.5 collector's range, which I think is good. It was originally released in 2011, but I think because this was a peg warmer figure, they thought, uh, let's just release this again and hopefully this will have a wider market this time. Which I think it will do, to be honest, because... Matt Smith, the eleventh Doctor, is one of the most popular Doctors now, so I think this may sell sell well with uh, the younger audiences, and I think this is a decent figure. I think it's quite a good idea that they've done a few re-releases as well as release a few brand new action figures, such as the eighth Doctor from the Night of the Doctor and a few 12th Doctors and a Clara Oswald figure. So that's my review of the 11th Doctor with a Stetson. It's all pretty much up to you whether you want to buy this or not. If you're a huge fan of the 11th Doctor, then I definitely recommend you pick this up. Despite the slight inaccuracy with the bow tie, I think this figure, it does the job. and I think it's a very good version of the 11th Doctor and it's a great addition to the shelf. And before I go, here's just a, a comparison between the 11th Doctor as seen from Series 5 and the 11th Doctor with Stetson as seen from Series 6. So thank you very much to all of you who have tuned in to watch this action figure review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more. And until next time, everybody, cheerio and have a nice day.